Hi guys, thank you for joining me. This is going to be a super duper quick crock pot recipe and it is called crock pot beef stroganoff. Now you can see I've got everything set up for you. I have my crock pot turned on to high. Um, it's been on, it's ready to go. Basically I preheat my crock pot the same way I do my oven so I don't have to wait for things to get to temperature. I throw it in and we're good to go. But let me tell you besides that, what else you need for this easy recipe. You need 12 ounces to a pound of egg noodles. Sour cream you're going to use about a cup of. This you're going to reserve so you can pop this back in the fridge until your stroganoff is done. This will be added at the end. You can do one or two cans of cream of celery or cream of mushroom. My husband doesn't like mushrooms so I do the cream of celery. And I'm using only one can because I'm going to add a little more sour cream. It's lighter, it's um, less fat. So that's kind of my goal here. Um, this is not a healthy so healthy recipe so to speak but it's just a way to get that cream sauce without having all the fat that's in it. Two cans of French onion soup very simple this is so good it's like heaven when you just open it and then you're going to use about a teaspoon of minced garlic and of course the beef. I'm using a London broil it was on sale this week this is about um, two and a half to three pounds is what you need. You don't have to do anything to it. You're going to throw it in just like this. You're going to throw this in first and then everything else on top. So let's get started. Now, of course, when you're working in the kitchen, you want to make sure that you work in a space that um, is not going to be touched by kids when you have something bloody like this. You see the nasty blood there? So we'll have to make sure that we sanitize that very well. Um, when we're done here before our kiddos start to sniff around and see what's going on. So you just put your meat right in. No big deal. Nothing needs to be done. We're good to go. Let me remove this because it is just disgusting. If anyone knows me, you know that I can't stand touching things that have raw meat in it. I am just not a uh, raw meat under my fingers, blood everywhere kind of person. So we've got that in there. It's already starting to heat. As soon as I put it in, we're going to do about a teaspoon of the minced garlic. If you're going to do um, powder, do about a quarter teaspoon of garlic powder if that's all you have. Then we're going to pop these in here. You want enough soup. It's got to make sure you cover your beef. Now your beef is going to add some juices too, but we don't, this is not a recipe that we want it real stewy because it's creamy. So um, two cans is all we need, no extra water. We'll go ahead and add this. And basically this all cooks in here for the day. Four to six hours on high. It'll be good to go. We want to start to shred it. Then once it's finished, we are going to add um, the sour cream to it. This is going to give it a nice creamy flavor and make sure that it all cooks down. So that's it. Was that way too simple? So guys, go enjoy your day while your stroganoff cooks, and we'll see you in about four to six hours. I just wanted you to pop in and see that the beef is cooking down. It's kind of semi-creamy, but remember, we still have our sour cream to add. So this is a good time if you want to go ahead and add your noodles for another hour, hour and a half. If you want to cook your noodles separately, that's fine too, and then you just pour this over. But we want to go ahead and start breaking up. See how this beef is just pulling apart, like yummy, yummy. So I'm going to break this up now and go ahead and add my noodles to soak the sauce up and then that way when I add the sour cream it'll just add a nice little creamy texture and it won't be so watery. But you see how good this looks? Do you see this? Yum! Oh that looks tasty. Alright guys, so this is your cue. Go ahead and add your noodles or be ready. You've got about another hour to an hour and a half um, to cook and then we're going to add our sour cream got about 30 minutes left so we're going to go ahead and add our sour cream. Our noodles are par done so that's why we need to cook it a little more. Still on high, 30 to 40 minutes we're going to add the sour cream and mix it up. There it is. It may not look grand right there but I'm telling you it is a feast to be enjoyed. I'm going to do a little French bread and some green beans and we are done. Dinner is done and this is fabulous, fabulous, fabulous. Guys, thanks for joining us. Visit us at facebook.com slash bagholder, as well as don't forget to check out our blog at todaysliving.net. See you soon.